Now that you've got your OneNote notebook set up and you have created pages and you've created sections and you know how to name and rename all your pages and sections, it's time to start adding content. Before we do that, just a little quick review on how to retrieve your notebook from the previous week. So you're going to log into your Office 365 account again, and if you're not sure of the website, it is on our Moodle course page. And then once you've logged in with the new password that you've created, you'll land on this start page, and you're going to go over to OneDrive. You're not going to go over to OneNote because we're not creating a new notebook. So we're going to click on OneDrive, and this is going to bring you to all the documents that you have in your OneDrive, your, in your Office 365 account, and you're going to look for your notebook. Any notebook that you have in here will have this little purple icon next to it. So here's the notebook that I created, and I'm going to click on it. And now right now, we are opening up the OneNote online version. As I said, this is the online version is very limited, which is why we're actually going to open it up in the full version of OneNote. So you're going to click on Open in OneNote, and that's going to open up the full desktop version of OneNote so that you have all the tools necessary to create your notebook. Okay, so right now it brings me back to the last part or the last section I was working on in my notebook. So you can see up here I have all the tabs that I had created and I also have several different pages associated with this particular tab, my Office 365 page. So you can see over here I've already started playing around inserting some text. One of the easiest things to do in Office 365 within OneNote is to add text because all you need to do is click anywhere on your screen and start typing. And it will automatically put the text into this little text box over here. So over here I started putting in my login information. I have a page dedicated to login information for Office 365 so I can type in here and I can just put in my password. I'm not going to show everybody my password. But if I wanted to add additional text somewhere else on the screen, all I need to do is click and just start typing. And when you place text on the screen, if you need to move it or adjust it, you have all your formatting tools up here, just like you would see in Microsoft Word. But if you rest your cursor on the little gray bar that appears above your text, this will also allow you to move the text anywhere you want on the screen. So that's a nice handy feature. If you want to add text to another page or another section, all you need to do is click on that section. And then again, you can just click anywhere and you can add any typing to your screen. That's one thing you're going to learn. The second thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to insert documents. Right now I am on my workshop materials page for my Office 365 section. I have all the materials that I want to hand out when I'm doing a workshop, I can place all in one designated area so that I have quick access to them. The way that you're going to do that is you're going to click on the insert menu. So let's say, for instance, you have a particular topic that you're covering with your students and you want to have all the student handouts on one page so that you have quick access to them so that you, might, you can either share them with the students or you can print them out for the students. If you click on the Insert tab at the top left over here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different things, different options that you have available to you to insert video, audio, files, screen clippings, pictures. We're going to go through a lot of these. But right now what we're going to do is we want to attach a file. So when we go to insert, you can see over here we have the option file attachment. And this is just like attaching a file to an email, except here it's going to give you quick access to it. So if I click on file attachment, it's going to allow me to attach anything that I have stored on my computer or if I'm at school, my L drive, student share, teacher share, etc. So I have this file over here. This is a, a OneNote quick list that I want to insert with this particular file. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click insert. Now it's asking me do I want to attach this as a file or insert it as a printout. The difference is is that the file will just give me the attachment. It will give me the file with a little icon. It won't actually show me what is in that file. A printout will take an entire screenshot of that document. So if I wanted to actually see what it was that I was inserting I could do a printout. We'll do both just so you can see the difference. So if I click attach file, you can see here, here's the attach file. It's a PDF. I can move it anywhere on the screen. And if I were to double click it, I would be able to view it. And once the PDF opens, I can preview it. And there it is. Now if I wanted to insert this as a printout, 
you could do file attachment again or you can go to file printout notice if you hover on any one of these options here it'll tell you exactly what it does so if I go to file printout and I choose the same document what it's going to do now is take a screenshot of that document and it's going to put it on this page this can be handy if you want to bring something up on your starboard at school and you want to be able to show it to the students you want to annotate on it or you want to have all your materials in front of you so that the students can actually see it so here's the actual printout of it and I still have the attachment over here and it also puts another attachment when you do a file printout but you can see here I have the full attachment and it's just a screenshot of it I wouldn't suggest using this feature for a five page ten page document because it's going to make this page very long it's going to make your notebook very big but for one sheet document it's a great way to preview what you have on this I can insert as many attachments on any page that I want within my notebook and again everything is automatically saved to OneDrive and I don't need to hit save or anything like that all these changes have been saved so this was just a little quick video on how to insert text how to insert attachments and how to insert printouts.